Welcome back. Now, the Supreme Court today allowed N. Srinivasan to take charge as BCCI president on 19th September. But the Supreme Court said that this is subject to the outcome of the pending appeal by former BCCI president A.C. Mataya. Now, Mataya wanted the court to restrain Srinivasan from taking over as the BCCI chief. Mataya's earlier petition raised the issue of conflict of interest as Srinivasan is also the owner of IPL team Chennai Super Kings. Now, but a two-judge bench in April gave a split verdict and the issue was referred to a larger bench. Now, since no bench has been constituted, Mutaya filed a petition to stop Srinivasan from taking charge of BCCI. Now, of course, he has said that the issue of the bone of contention here appears to be the conflict of interest. And well, on Friday, as uh, new releases hit the silver screen, my colleague and senior editor Bhama Ravi tells us if Friends with Benefits, a Hollywood flick, is worth a watch. Quite a few films have released this Friday, but the one film that many of us might like to check out is Friends with Benefits. This Hollywood film features Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake, which is the reason many of us might want to watch this film, because as we all know, they are very good actors. So what are the two doing in a romantic comedy, you might want to know? Actually, they do, they're doing quite well in this film, and that is why this film is worth watching. Story-wise, there is really nothing much here. It's been done before. There are uh, the, these two people are there thrown together in good old New York, and neither of them is looking at a serious relationship, but then they end up having a very, very serious commitment towards each other. So, what is very new about the film, as I said, nothing much, but what is interesting is the dialogue and the screenplay, which makes you realize that yes, a old wine in a new bottle is actually old wine, a very good wine. And well, even as the Harvest Festival of Onam was celebrated with much fanfare, my colleague Kali treats his taste buds with Onam Delights. Take a look. Onam it is and I'm dressed from head to toe like a Malayali. Now a lot of people have told me that there is more to Onam than just food. But if you have a grumbling stomach on Onam, all you care about is some delicious Onam Sadhya. That's why here I am today at Entekerlam. Every Onam, Ente Kerala almost transforms into a mini Kerala with Malayalis queuing up for a taste of Chef Nambudri's authentic Onam Sadhya. But is Onam in Chennai as special as the one in God's own country? Sir, what's the difference? How is Onam celebrated in Kerala and how is it celebrated in Chennai? And how is Ente Kerala adding a flavour to it? I think at Ente Kerala we are keeping the same spirit and uh, same flavours of us as if you get it in Kerala. I think uh, the people who are coming here, they are not missing the food in Kerala. In uh, all means, uh, we are giving a truly uh, uh, onam uh, festive feel for the customers who are coming to Ente Kerala. While quite a few people waited for the sight of an empty table, we caught up with some of the early birds who tell us why onam is so very special. Mahabali, the great emperor who used to give people whatever they want, ultimately was caught by the Lord. And he said, I just want only three varams. One, you keep my, your foot on me. Uh, one, of course, on the land, of course. And then he said, finally, when he lost everything to God, let me have the privilege of coming once in a year to my... That's why they call Kerala as God's own country. In Kerala, Onam is also about snake boat races and the Kaikotikali dance. But the Chennaites did not seem to be missing the fervor of Onam too much as they indulged in the delicious anti Keralam Sadhya. I'm not sure if I know the names of all the items on my plate right now, but as a hungry Shakespeare once said, what's in a name if the food is so delicious? In Chennai, with camera person Arun, Kali Sahak for NDTV Hindu. Well, don't miss uh, enterprising entrepreneurs where Sanjay Pinto chats with uh, Sondarya Rajesh, chief executive of Aftar Career Creators. Catch that in only a few minutes from now at 10.30 p.m. Well, that's all the time that we have for, but keep watching NDTV Hindu. Have a good night.